Good morning, No Excuses Scholars. It's No Excuse University College Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Our college vocabulary word is bachelor's degree. Yep, say it with me, bachelor's degree. We talked about oh, bachelor's of arts yesterday and some examples. Today, we're looking at bachelor's of science and there's a lot of majors. Oh my gosh, so many majors in this field. And here are some, some examples animal behavior, chemistry, game design. Hello, game design. Yeah, you can actually go to college and get a degree, get a bachelor's degree um, in game design. No joke. Uh, human biology, interior design, mathematics, speech and hearing, and even statistics. And there's many, many more. So if those are areas you're interested in, check it out. That's why you want to go to college. You get to choose what you learn about. Not a joke. So if you want um, to go to college and look at science, keep going. This is some, I'm sure it's something you're interested in. We can find something for you. All right. So we keep talking about character counts every day and being a terrific person. It is the expectation of Highgrove Elementary. And so even when we're not looking, when we are looking, when you're in class, not in class, when you're in the bathroom and the NPR, your character counts every day. And that goes for everybody. You only have control over yourself. So let's be a good high group Husky. And part of being a good high group Husky is safety. We keep talking about that. And you, most of you are doing a fantastic job. So appreciate it. Wear your mask 100% of the time. And again, at lunchtime, you're going to be sitting with your class. And again, the Husky 100 Mile Club Challenge, it's still going. So hopefully today, if it wasn't super cold or rainy, you were out there running and getting in some laps. And every four laps you run, you can get one entry form for a raffle prize. And the raffle ticket looks just like this little paper over here. And you're going to get it actually on the playground. So right there, Ms. Salazar and maybe a couple others will have them. They have a clipboard. You fill it out, turn it in, and you're in for the raffle. So, and again, if you have not signed up for um, the 100 Mile Club, you still can. So ask your teacher for the form. The spelling bee, we moved it to uh, January 18th. So that is next week. Um, just a kind of reminder, next Monday, there's no school. Yeah, I know. How about that? And then Tuesday when we get back, um, we will have the, we're planning to have the spelling bee. And progress reports go home this Friday, January 14th. Again, not everyone's going to receive one, but um, many, many, many of you will. And it's just a good chance to show you and your mamacita and papacita how you're doing and uh, how, you know, how you need to improve or keep going the way you're going. So it's just a just a progress report. Let everybody know. And again, speaking of progress, you want to continue. And we keep saying this, continue on all these programs, even at home, even on the weekends. And of course, even next Monday when we have the day off, put in a little bit of time. We're not asking you to spend all day, just spend a little bit of time. It helps you learn. Well, it is college day. And we're going to be looking at Central Washington University. And this is for Mrs. Reyes Ortega's class. And wow, I didn't even know much about this place. It looks really neat. They are the home of the Wildcats. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at these buildings. They've got a football field. They've got these buildings look like almost really old. And then some of them look new, but kind of with the brick building. What a cool looking place. I would like to go visit it someday. All right, let's take a look at their mission statement. Central Washington University prepares students for enlightened, responsible, and productive lives to produce research, scholarship, and creative expression in the public interest. So they are kind of similar to us. They want to serve other people and help them out. And of course, they want the, everyone to be super successful. Let's take a look at these numbers. They have 200 or more sunny days which sounds kind of funny, but it's actually a big deal up in the state of Washington. It's a little cloudy up there, so 200 days, that's pretty good. It was founded in 1891. Wow, that was a long time ago. 
They have 135 degrees. Remember we're talking about bachelor degrees? They have 135 choices. Yeah. Uh, the average class size is only 20, so smaller than even some of the classes here. And the tuition is actually decent, $3,000 and 18 to one student ratio. So again, uh, it's there's a lot of staff to support you guys. So anyways, this might be a college that you guys are interested in. And uh, thank you, Ms. Reyes Ortega, the Central Washington University Wildcats. Looks like a cool place to go. Hey, it's our lunch menu. And today we're having Fiesta Chicken Bowl with beans and rice and a tangerine. Yummy! Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please place your right hand over your heart and ready begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Well, here's our joke of the day. It comes from Zoe in Mrs. Gregory's class. Her question is, her joke, why did the reporter walk into the ice cream shop? Hmm. You know those people you see on TV that are reporting? You know, after the report, they got to eat, right? So, but why did this reporter walk into the ice cream shop? Hmm. Any ideas, any guesses? Let's find out. She wanted to get the scoop. Get it? The scoop, like the new scoop? Yeah. All right, thank you, that was a good one. And again, keep sending me the jokes, we need more. And scholars never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday.